Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Thank you very much for being here. In today's video, I have a review about this perfume, -da 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 -da, which is called Miami Glow by Jennifer Lopez. So if you wanna see what I have to say about this perfume, please stay and watch. Thank okay, you. do I like or not this perfume? Yes, I do like it. I think it's a really nice, well done perfume. I enjoy it very much, <laughs> as you can see. <laughs> I really like it and I do think this is a really nice summer essence something that is very summer appropriate now that you can wear it in winter I think you could if you want to but I think it's more summery like only because of the fruit that it has in it for the top notes we have passion fruit coconut and pink grapefruit for the middle notes we have orange blossom Cyclamen and Hilo, Hilo Trope. I'm gonna write it here because I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it well or not. But anyway, and for the base notes, we have vanilla, mass, and alcohol. Now, to me, what I smell in this perfume, in this bottle, is two things. One is the. Have you smelled the perfume by Jennifer Lopez that is called J Lo Glow? If you, have, if you haven't, I'm going to tell you what that, what that one smells like in a little bit. But to me, is this perfume right here is a combination of that perfume, let's say like 30 or 40% of that, that perfume, J-Lo Glow, plus passion fruit. That's all I smell here, passion fruit and J-Lo Glow. And it's a really nice thing. They have done this combination really really well <laughs> i really enjoy it that's what i'm saying it's a summer perfume in my opinion because you are able to smell the it also fruit. has a little of sweetness but very low it's not like a gourmet type of perfume or anything like that but it has some hints of sweetness added to this, it if you don't know what that j-lo glow smells like it's more like a it's a floral perfume, it's, it has some citrus, I think it has neroli in it, but it has some citrus to it, but not too much. It's still, it's a clean perfume, but it's more like floral with a little hint of citruses, and it's not a boring clean perfume. It's a perfume that has been done well in my opinion because it's very sophisticated like even so it's a clean perfume and usually clean perfumes in my opinion can or are tend to be boring type of perfume you know not, nothing exciting about them but that one i think does not follow that rule that one is a very sophisticated very elegant type of clean perfume but like i say it's floral with some citrus in it now this one will be like 30 or 40 percent of that perfume plus the passion fruit and it, it smells really nice really nice <laughs> i really enjoy it <laughs> now the projection i see with jennifer lopez glow perfumes they don't they are not really strong but they project so if i will say low medium and high projection i will put them in the medium because they are not overpowering they are not really strong but you are able to smell them and people around you are able to smell them on you which is something nice because that's what we like about perfume right we want to smell ourselves and we want to have that bubble of air you know whatever the perfume is around us right so now, when i wear this perfume i get compliments because it's very unusual you know people are always like what is that smell what are you wearing because i mean it smells nice but it's not common it's, the passion fruit in it is like wow what is that you know now you also have the coconut and the vanilla and you i mean let me i don't want to spray because i already put perfume on it but just for you uh, see and the opening right away right away you get the passion fruit and you also get the sweet of the vanilla you know that sweetness of vanilla yeah but the passion fruit is definitely definitely the start you get a hint of the coconut but everything is sweet <clears throat> it's mixing well but like i say to me this perfume is just two things the j-lo glow in a 30 40 percent percentage plus passion fruit oh yeah 
<laughs> passion fruit, passion fruit, passion fruit. <laughs> so if you like passion fruit, I think you're gonna like this one because it's a nice perfume. It has been done nicely and it's not expensive. I think, I can't remember how much I paid for it, but it's not expensive perfume and it's a really nice one. I would say to me, more like a designer type of perfume because the way they have achieved to put the passion fruit in here even so you are able to smell it because you do smell the passion fruit in this one it's still it's not like you're just wearing because with some other perfume it's like pineapple when you spray and it's pineapple and it's not done correctly you can tell you know versus in here no you smell the passion fruit but you also have the perfume touch to it so it's a really nice combination. It's a really well done perfume. And like I said, to me it's more summer appropriate because of the tropical notes in it. The coconut, the passion fruit, you know, but it's, it's a really nice place and aroma. What else can I tell you about it? The only one thing I don't like about this perfume is the bottle. I mean, it has this little thing there, which I think is kind of cute. It has some clip cloth there, like an ornament type of thing. And I think this is cute, but the bottle itself, you know, this tiny, really very thin type of thing here, I I really don't like that, that type of bottle because when you spray it, to me, it's, it's very uncomfortable. To, to handle this type of container. So I really don't like that, like the bottle itself. But when you buy a perfume, you don't care much about the bottle, right? What you care about is the juice inside, what the perfume is, because that's what is gonna go in your body. That's why you're gonna be smelly <laughs> for a good while. So, and this is this is a winner. I like it, I really like it. So, but anyway, that's my review about um, Miami Glow. I think it's a five stars perfume. I hope that you like the review. If you, if you did, give me your thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and click on the bell. Have a good one, and I will see you next time. Bye.